why football as well, if he's watching this, big up why football, big up to Dennis. Uh, I watched his video this morning. I was like, I've got to make a video on this as well because he found this tweet himself, so big up to him. But yes, Dobbo, I don't know who these people are, but yes, they apparently, they like these apparently Arsenal Chancellor News report, uh, journalists or whatever. Look, Arsenal Chancellor News says it here, whatever that means. And Arsenal SD Old, I don't know what SD Old means, but yeah. But yeah, they say Frankie Dion links are genuine. Arsenal do hold interest in the player and it is concrete. However, a tough deal to do. Lots of things need to fall in place for a deal to potentially materialise. One to watch low contact have been made through the agents, Frankie Dion Keen. And he also put, uh, or they also put, please don't get your hopes up yet. It is the initial stages, uh, it is the initial stages currently, and still lots would have, need to happen to make it still materialise. However, Arsenal are 100% interested in Frankie Dion. And yes, he is keen. He has always been a minor of Arsenal. He's interested. Wow. Uh, the partnership to most part is a fat titan of any potential move to Frankie Dion, to my understanding. Has interest in Italy and Saudi at the same time, but nothing decided on his departure currently. <laughs> ah, here we go again, people. <laughs> Arsenal back in Disneyland fantasies. <laughs> Look. As much as we would all love it, and let me say something. Let me say something about Frankie Dion. Yeah, this guy is elite level. This Frankie Dion, yeah, he's elite. Like this guy has been for the last three to four years, been one of the best midfielders in the world. I'm not. I'm not even over exaggerating. This guy's been a, a superb for Barcelona. Yeah, honestly, and just picture this, guys. You have Declan Rice, you have Frankie Dion, you have Odegaard as the free midfield. Oh my days, bro. I will get so <laughs> I'll be so excited, but at the end of the day, it's not happening. It really isn't happening, guys. All right, and I'm pretty sure my man made it clear. I, and, I, and I did hear the the uh, rumors as well with Man City as well. I think Man City are interested, heavily interested. There've been some links to Man City for Van Dion. I swear he made it clear that he wants to stay at Barcelona. I, I literally swear. I think he said it in an interview like start of the season, like he's committed to Barcelona. Like, it ain't going to happen, guys. Again, this is us living in Disneyland fantasies, you know, FIFA career mode settings, football manager settings, unicorn fantasies. Like, this ain't no Disneyland, guys. This is real life. We ain't getting Frankie Dion. It's, sim it's similar to the Mbappe leaks, you know. Mbappe ain't coming to Arsenal. He's going around Madrid. Frankie Dion, most likely, is going to set Barcelona. But, do I think Arsenal should putting a bit for Frankie Dion, I think we should. Same with Mbappe, because we're in Champions League now, man. And this is all we got told. Champions League attracts bigger players, etc. Right? I think, as Arsenal, we should not be afraid to put in a bid. I don't think... This is... Don't just words, guys. We ain't getting him. No chance. Yeah, absolutely no chance. But we should go and put in a bid to show that, you know, we're Arsenal now, yeah? We're back to where we belong, guys, sort of thing, yeah? Where we're in Champions League now, we can go and attract these bigger players to our football club, etc. So why not? Why? Why? What's stopping us from, from not going to Barcelona and say, all right, let's test the waters for Frankie Dion. Let's see if we can get something for this guy. Um, let's see if we can try and agree a deal. As I said, guys, I don't words, it ain't happening. Absolute no chance. But in this whole entire different universe or fantasies of Disneyland-esque unicorn, you know, really cool uh, Disneyland fantasies, guys, yeah? It would be sensational. Honestly, it would be sensational, guys, yeah? Frankie Dion to Arsenal. Like, everything about him is just world-class. Like, him as a whole is world-class. I, I can't tell you enough, guys, how much that would elevate our squad. Like, I've seen this guy enough already at Barcelona. He is the one, he's the one of the best midfielders in the world, and he's been one of the best midfielders in the past three to four years. It's as simple as that, guys. But, in happening, guys, you know, it's not happening. And similar to Tucci Many, and we're, and we're, getting on, we're going to get on to it in a minute. Tucci Many's looking more likely, though, because it's, it keeps going on and on and on and on about it. I'm like, all right, maybe there's a bit of news about Tucci Many, but with Frankie Dion, I don't, I don't think this is true. I mean, I don't know if the story is even true. I don't know if these people are any reliable, um, but they apparently have mad sources, apparently, and apparently they say they're genuine, you know, links are genuine. Arsenal apparently hold interest in the player, and it is concrete. Uh, it's a tough deal to do, which is why it's never going to get it's, it's not going to get done, guys. And yeah, lots of things need to fall in place. Um, but yeah, apparently contact's been made. Apparently Arsenal talking to the agents of Frankie Dion and are interested in the player and Arsenal want Frankie Dion. And it goes back to what I said the other day, right? 
Arsenal want Frankie Dion and I want Kylie Jenner. <laughs> but it doesn't mean it's going to happen, in it, guys? It doesn't mean it's going to happen. But yeah, look, I mean, even they said, don't get your hopes up yet. You know, it's initial stages. We're 100% interested in, in, in Frankie Dion. He is keen. Apparently, he's keen to join Arsenal. Well, I thought he's keen to stay at Barcelona. I thought he said that in, I thought he publicly came out and said that he's keen to stay at Barcelona at the start of the last season. You know, um, he's always been an admirer of Arsenal. Now, that is true, I reckon. I, I, and look, hear me out on this one, guys. I think he, there's a report back in August 2020, uh, August 2021. Yeah, uh, two years ago, there's a report that came out and said he really, like, he loves Arsenal. Like, apparently, apparently he supports Arsenal and all that stuff. But again, you don't even know how true that is. But according to they, I mean, Dobbo said it in themselves, you know, he's apparently a minor of Arsenal. He's apparently interested in the move. I don't think he's interested in the move. I, and I really don't think this is going to happen, guys. I think this is Disneyland fantasies. As always. But yeah, and also, uh, if Thomas Partey were to leave as well, then we'll replace him with Frankie Dion. That will not happen. What most likely will happen is Partey will leave, which I don't think we should... Uh, I, don't, I don't think he should leave. I think we've got to keep Thomas Partey. Keep Thomas Partey, guys. Don't know why we want to get rid of him. Uh, and I think Ro Romeo Lavio will be his replacement. Not Frankie Dion, unfortunately, guys. So, yes. Uh, we've got some more breaking news, by the way, about uh, Julian Timber. But we already know that's a done deal. I'll get to that in a minute. But yeah. Guys, let me know. <laughs> Do you believe in this uh, in this crap? Because uh, I don't. I, I really don't. And as much as I would love to get on the hype train and be like, oh, yeah, Frankie Dion, you know, get out of the loom or whatever. <laughs> but it ain't, it's, it's not happening. It really isn't happening. We can keep dreaming. We, we can have our Disneyland fantasies. We can have our unicorn uh, S fantasy fantasies. You know, we can have our lucid dreams. About Frankie Dion, we, we we can do it on FIFA career mode. Like I can make a career mode and sign him, if, and we can see how good he is on FIFA, and we can win the league with him on FIFA and FIFA and football manager. But he seriously isn't coming to Arsenal, guys. Um, who's more likely though? Too many goals or Frankie Dion? I'll say too too many. But we're gonna, we're gonna we're cold logical. We're gonna get on that in a minute, guys. Let me, let me get your guys' comments. Let me, let me go. What would you guys think about Frankie Dion? Make sure you leave it in the comment section down below. But uh, yeah. Uh, Paul says, I think it's time for Jacko to move on. He's been a great servant to have last seven years. I agree. Big up to Luca as well. Thanks for having me on your channel. Guys, go and check out Luca's video yesterday. Uh, we did our early Premier League predictions yesterday, guys. We did our early Premier League predictions. Uh, and there's a bit of uh, some controversy with my ones. I put Arsenal to win the league next season. And I also put Newcastle to finish seven. So go and check that one out, guys. You you don't want to miss it. I'm going to do my own ones probably at the end of this month. So thank you for that as well. When, when we get more chance for news and all that stuff. I see uh, what uh, people sign and all that stuff. But yeah, uh, I agree, Josh Mace Lee, but Arsenal, most important player, him being injured was why I also missed out on the title and dropped uh, a lot of points at the end. Facts. That's, that's why one of my um, the main facts why we ultimately capitulated last season was because, uh, yeah, our squad depth is poor, but Saliba was a big part of that. Saliba was the person who was dictating the whole entire defence, in my opinion. I really do. It all, uh, playing out from the back as well all came from Saliba. Um, so yes. I agree. Big up, man. Thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Really appreciate you, man. Thank you so much. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate you, man. Thank you. Are you going to shout your shield? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm going to the Emirates Cup in uh, against Monaco, but I, I ain't going to commit your shield. I'm, I'm going to the first game of the season, though. Hopefully, I'm going to get the tickets in time to go to the first game of the season. I've renewed my, mem uh, my Arsenal membership, so hopefully, if it's not like last season, I can get to the first game of the season against Norton and Forest, guys. Um, please... Please, let me get to the first game of the season, man. I want to see Declan Rice in the flesh. I want to see Tisha Many in the fresh, guys. You know what I mean? But, yeah. My man, Glenn, what are you saying, bro? As always, thanks for tuning in as well, man. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, Auntie, just give me another chance. I think you meet... Do you mean Pepe or Nelson? Yeah, man. There's, there's many people who are really sad to see him leave. Which, I, I, I don't blame you guys, because I think he was superb last season. He was, he was for me, one of our best players last season. I think he was amazing, but... Yeah, I I think it was just time to move on, to be honest. He got injured last season. I think you mean Dion, yeah? Yeah, uh, Frankie Dion got injured last season. He's very injury-prone low. There we go, then. I, yeah, it's got to be, in it? It's, it's got to be PR. But yeah, uh, you prefer Tuchel Many. Yeah, we, we're going to move on to him in, uh, actually now. But yeah, guys, Frankie Dion. <laughs> no chance. Again, no chance. But I'll, of course, I'll, it'll, it'll blow me away. If this is any truth in the story, man, it would actually blow me away. I'll, I'll, I'll be shocked if we uh, did get a deal done for Frankie Dion. It, it's not happening. Simple as that. But yeah, let's get into another story today. Maybe a deal that's most likely to happen. I don't know, guys, because it's been, at, you know, at first I was like, 